Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the tub to pump hose on your dishwasher. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to remove the dishwasher completely from the cabinets. So the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect the power. Locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuse. We'll also want to turn off the inlet water supply to the dishwasher. And once we've done that, we'll need to remove the lower access panel, disconnect the water supply from the inlet valve. You'll also want to disconnect the electrical supply from the junction box, and you may as well need to remove the drain hose from the outlet. And once we've done all that, our next step will be to disconnect the mounting tabs on top of the dishwasher that secure it to the bottom of your countertop. And at that point, we can pull the dishwasher out to do the repair. Now with the dishwasher pulled out of the cabinets, we've laid it on its back so that we can access that hose. Now one end of it is fairly accessible, but the other is in beneath this little actuator motor. So we're going to need to remove that. You may also want to remove the counterweight from the bottom of the sump area, and that will give us a little more room. So we'll remove these two 5 16 screws. Now next we can remove the two wire harnesses that are attached to that actuator motor, or you may choose to just lift it out of the way. If you decide to remove the harness connectors, simply need to release that little locking tab and lift the harness off. Then remove the two mounting screws. And there's also a little locking tab located underneath here, so just carefully depress that. And then lift that straight out of the pump body and try not to move that shaft. We'll just set that aside and now we have access to that hose. Now, if your model of dishwasher has this style of crimped on clamp, you'll need to remove those first. So either using a pair of pliers or a flat blade screwdriver, you can try working that clamp enough to slide it off the end of the pump. If it doesn't come easy, just take a flat blade in there and see if you can spread that just slightly. Same for clamp on the sump side. Now if the old clamp's released, you should be able to pull that completely off of there. Now, there will be some water in that area, so I have something to collect that. We can discard the old hose with the clamps. You'll we'll want to make sure that both of these surfaces are clean and free of any debris. Now when installing that new hose, we're just going to moisten the inside of each end of that, and that will allow it to slide easier over those ports. You will note that there is a little locating tab with a split in it that will fit on the circulating pump. And there is a solid tab that fits onto the sump area. So verify that both of those are lined up properly. We'll tighten those clamps. So once we've got that secured, we're then going to reinstall this motor. We want to try to line up this shaft with the disc that is down through the center of that opening. Make sure there's no debris on that shaft.
And if you didn't meet any resistance, you can assume that it slid into place properly. And we'll show you a method of how to check that after the fact, just so that we can verify that it is positioned properly. We'll then reinstall the two mounting screws. Reattach the water harnesses. Make sure that the locking tabs engage. And rope those harness wires through those keepers. Well, I'll put the counterweight back on. And now we're ready to stand the dishwasher up to prepare it to push back into the cabinets. Now to check the position of that shaft with the actuator, we'll need to open the dishwasher up to both bottom and upper racks. So the bottom rack just slides out. The upper rack will need to release these rack stops. Just tilt them to the outside. And then slide that whole upper rack completely out. push those rails back in position. And we're also going to need to release that manifold. It is attached to the center at the back here and with another spring clip on the top. So if we simply flex that manifold, that will release it from those spring clips. So to release the manifold from that metal clip, simply just press on one of those clips pushing it away from the manifold or flexing that manifold at the same time and then pull it away from the other side. Do the same on the back wall. We're going to remove that lower spray arm. Simply grasp that square hub beneath the center of that spray arm. Turn it counterclockwise 90 degrees and lift that off. Now we're going to rotate that top piece here. You'll note that there is a little locking tab located just off of that outlet. So we'll lift that up and rotate that whole assembly counterclockwise. Pop that hose out and rotate that around at the same time, try to pull this hose away from that outlet. out of there and we can inspect that verify that that disc is sitting flush on the top of that shaft now next we'll position that outlet under that opening we can reinstall our manifold Just rotate it while pushing the hose in so it snaps into position. Press the smaller one down into the opening. Then we'll line up that manifold to center it on the back wall. And press in this area till it locks in place. And then do the top of it. Make sure the tabs on both sides engage. Verify that that locking lever is past the stop on the top of the pump. And that both of those tubes are fitted properly. We can then put our lower spray arm on. 
place it so that that square nut sits flush, then rotate it until it locks in place. We're now ready to put the upper rack in. Start by pulling the rails out and ensuring that the rack stops are tilted out. So we'll line up the rear wheels on that rack. And then the front ones. We should make sure that the rack stops are closed. push the lower rack into position. We'll close the dishwasher up and prepare to push it back into the cabinets. Now that we have the dishwasher repaired, we're ready to push it back into the cabinets. Be sure to secure it to the bottom of the countertop with the appropriate mounting straps. We'll need to reconnect the inlet water supply as well as the power. Put the access panel back in place, we'll reconnect our drain. We're ready to reconnect the power and your repair is complete.